On today's episode, we're going to review a case study and a project for an app design that covers the whole UX and UI process of it. Let's see what can be improved, what's missing and what's been done well. What's up? Today I'm going to review an app that was designed by a designer from Amsterdam called Rosa. And she sent me this email. She taught me she was a, a self designed, self taught UX designer, really passionate about designing apps, and that she did a project, self initiated project. She even created a whole case study about this. And she sent me this, asked for a review, but she was very specific, which I liked. And she asked three questions What could be improved? What I'm doing well? And what did I forget? Or or missing. So this is really helpful in giving context to this review. So let's jump right into it and see what she did. So basically, um, it's called Doc App, and basically it's Taylor. It's in the Dutch market. Obviously, she's in Amsterdam and uh, helps you make an appointment with general practitioner. By the way, I didn't know what GP was, so I had to Google this. And this is, as I said before, it's a concept project. So this is basically, she's explaining the, pro the problem. There's no solution for expats living in Netherlands. And um, now she's explaining what she did. So what I found interesting, first of all, she did a research, which meant she did a competitive research, check out what other solutions are in the Netherlands or in France and in India, brought some references, pretty good went on to do qualitative research and did some interviews with nine people and then wrote what she understood from them. This is really, really helpful. And I think she did a really great job here. She even created kind of a persona of this person, what their problems are. And uh, she really got some data here. So this is really nice. So then she broke down the process of what the app functions should be, kind of like what is the scope? So they need to make appointment, register, get consulting, uh, and then she created a user flow. So this is basically how the app should work. Uh, work, And you can even download a PDF because I was going to say it's a bit too tiny for me to read. Um, then she's explaining the journey. So uh, for example, he's sick. He want to visit the doctor. He downloads the app for the first time. He looks for the doctor. He finds and makes an appointment. And then he creates an account. And uh, yeah. So now she's showing a few iterations of the design. So first of all, she did uh, a pretty rough mock-up with Balsamic. Then she actually showed it to three customers, tested it and got feedback, which I think is really, really nice that she took the time to do this process, but also she's very open about the fact that, hey, I didn't get this right for the first time. I think this is incredible. It's so obvious, you know, I never get it right the first time either, but I think a lot of designers try to show up at their portfolio, here's the amazing solution that I brought. And this is obvious that real life does not work that way. And so when Rosa actually shows, here was my first idea, but it didn't work. Here's what I learned. And then I came up with the next idea. This really is what I'm looking for when I'm looking for a product designer, because this is a really iterative process and you have to understand this. Um, so then she improved some of the things based on the feedback that she got. And then she kind of, for the third round, she did uh, a mid five pro type where it's already it looks better but still without the colors um and then she went down to doing the high fidelity prototype which at this point she basically uh designed it and colored it and designed it for iphone x and so this is uh kind of an animated gif and we're going to go through, she also linked a Figma prototype here. Now she's covering the visual design, icons, buttons, the logo, and uh, basically kind of a summary of the project. So let's go through the, uh, so first of all, let's start with the case study before even trying the prototype itself. I think this is a really good um, case study in a sense that I've really understood the process from definition of the process to understanding how you work, how you did the research and how you did the iterations on the design. It was very clear. I see that you can do the process and the fact that you did this just for yourself and you took the initiative to interview people and to revisit your own design. I think that's that's really wonderful. Uh, let's check out the uh, prototype now. So this is 
I guess the onboarding screen, I do continue, continue, when I access my location, all right. So I guess you get started with a map and uh, let's see, if I'm looking for a doctor, I can find a doctor this way. And I guess you can look for a doctor here and you click it, you see when you can schedule appointments and you click something and then you can click make appointment and then it asks you to create an account, okay. And then you create your account and then you continue, create your account, you've made an appointment. So now I have to confirm the appointment. All right, let's say I've confirmed. So now it seems like I have an appointment and the appointment is just here. And if I click here, I can see the upcoming appointments and I can click new appointments and create new appointments here. What else do I have here? Results, e-consult and uh, all right, looks good. So now that we've covered this, let's go back to the initial uh, questions. So I think in, in terms of what you did well, I think as I've said, case study um, is very well put and I think that the app in general is very well thought and uh, and it's functional it looks good it looks good um, let's see in terms of what you could have done better and this is I'm just specifically talking about let's say the visual design because I'll talk about uh, the user experience and flow and stuff like that in a second but in terms of visual design I st I feel like um, this is kind of like the where I, I want to say that it looks unfinished or just like for example the drop down shadow on this button why is it there how is this helpful I feel like it's not helpful it's just distracting and kind of blurring this background so I kind of feel like the visual uh, UI is not tight enough or it's I don't know, I, again, we have here, um, there was an icon here as well that I was looking at and I wasn't really sure, you know, there's this icon here at the corner. What is this icon? I do not understand what this icon is and if an icon is not, is more confusing than helpful, then I'm, I'm kind of confused. So I think that where you could improve is in the, the kind of the UI and the visual aspect of the app where I have things that I think uh, can improve a little bit. In terms of the, what am I missing or something, in terms of the u user experience and the flow, I do feel like there's some things, first of all, just the fact that you get started. Uh, let me see if I can get started again. There's few assumptions here, like getting started from a map, um, which I feel is like, w what if I want to look for something else right now? I mean, I feel like, I'm just using myself as a reference, even though that's not how you would design, right? You would start from the data from your interviews, but yeah, you might look for something that is close by to where you are right now. That's one way to enter the kind of the search. Another way would be like what's available right now or what's available next Monday when I have a slot to go to the doctor or something like that. So. I think I would want to switch between a map based on what's close to me to what's available when I can go to the doctor. So time-based, maybe. Um, another thing is, like for example, um, so here, no, where was it? Okay, so now that I'm inside, um, I can do new appointments and when I'm selecting a new appointment it looks like I can only pick from doctors where I already work with which is weird because what if none of them is available right now how can I widen the search it looks like I'm kind of limited in my ability to only pick from people that I work with and that's I wouldn't expect kind of like that the search would work that way. It is fine if you would prioritize my doctors or the doctors that I work with, but if none of them is available, if none of them is available right now, then I need to broaden my search. And this, the, the fact that I can only choose from a few doctors here, there's not even a search function here, right? So this is only, I need to make a new appointment, so I'm making an appointment. This is, I feel like this is kind of limiting. I generally feel like we need to have kind of a search function more uh, prominent here. Um, you did have a search function in the map, but not here. So this is kind of like a little bit of feedback on how the user experience is and the flow is. I feel like this is um, 
might need a little bit more exploration and a little bit more feedback. Even though, you know, when I read um, a little bit about your interviewed interviews here, um, da -da 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 -da. It looked like you did. You did uh, had this understanding that people get started from either um, a location based or a time based. So I would expect to see that also. You know, in the in the flow or in the the yeah the way that the app actually works. But in general, Rosa, I think this is a really really great place to to start with. And if I was looking at this case study um, as somebody to hire for product design, then I'm confident that you understand the process. Um, and even if, you know, some things can be improved, I do feel like you understand the process and that you're uh, confident in sharing it. You can do execution in terms of you can do the research, you can do the UI, you can do the prototyping. And so that looks really, really well. And um, yeah, so Congrats, good luck. I think this is a good starting point to, to get your first job in user experience. Hope that works well for you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.